on 2K Sports. And we're seeing some world-class basketball being played here tonight. That's exactly what you'd expect coming from the absolute greatest players on the planet. On the floor for the East All-Stars, starting the fourth. Steph Curry is out there with Lowry. Then it's Paul George. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Jokic in at the five, roaming the paint. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his first foul. Teams of the past would often pound the offensive glass, Clark. I think of the 84 Celtics. But now teams are running only one, uh, maybe two guys to the offensive board. I think a big part of it is transition defense is so important that teams now don't send as many people to the offensive glass. But the flip side of that is if you get offensive rebounds, you get opportunities to score and you can thwart transition chances. So I tilt towards trying to get to the offensive glass as long as you've got a couple of guys that, that are really good at it. Out of the finds George outside Curry. No good from outside. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. There's Peel with the three. And so it looks like it'll be still with the West All-Stars. Russell Westbrook's checked in for the East. And, you know, the fan voting is what determines the starters in the All-Star game. Then the coaches will decide on the reserves. But either way, whether you're picked by the fans or the coaches, earning the title NBA All-Star, that's an honor none of these players will ever forget. And Simmons kicks to Lillard. Another shot, and that's two points on the layup. 16 points for Ben Simmons. Well, I tell you what, I like the clip he's shooting at. Extremely effective. If you're on defense now, you got to get the ball out of his hands. Or three, Westbrook. Offensive rebound, and to Dekumbo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Just off the charts, incredible athleticism from Ante Dekumbo. Bending off contact like a real pro. No good from Simmons. Boy, incredible effort on defense. Refusing to give him an uncontested layup. Nothing easy. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Westbrook drives in, and it's blocked by Simmons. Boy, you cannot forget about the long reach and wingspan of Simmons. I mean, he uses it exceptionally well on defense to come away with block shots. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Looked to me like just a frustration foul. It really kind of sums up the game they're having in general. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. Well, they're dialed in. Locked and loaded from outside the arc. It's all about the triple so far. And Lillard kicks to Aldridge. Over Jokic. Here's Simmons. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. And really, Simmons makes it look elementary, simple. I mean, the way he attacks defenses from multiple angles is hard to deal with if you're defending. And George with the stuff. And watch out. You don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. Well, you got to make that moment last. Enjoy it for as long as you can. And I love how his teammates have stepped up for him. He's struggling. But they're ramping it up and getting it done this quarter. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. And when you're down this many points, hard to justify leaving a good shooter that wide open. Well, you know what, Greg? To me, it looks like they packed it in and just kind of given up. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. 
Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. They've shared the load offensively. And, guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react, and that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. It's good. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And, Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now a timeout called by the West All-Stars. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid. And they're giving up a ton of second chance points. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, James Harden. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And the tradition in honor of just being invited to play here, let alone receiving honors of All-Star Game MVP. Just tremendous. In fact, one could argue we had a couple great candidates here, but he deserved it. He's with the ball. They trail by 18. Walker the pass to Embiid. Kicks to Curry. A three ball. Good on the triple. And you can just see his confidence is rising. Bucket after bucket from long range. Here's onto Takumbo. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's on Kevin Durant. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Anta Takumbo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses. Outside Irving. Durant finds Thompson. No good from the wing. Tell you, that is not what they want. A contested jump shot, defense right on him. You need to get a better shot than that. The first one falls. And both free throws good for LeBron. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. It's a 16-point game. Curry outside. That's good. It's his seventh May basket in 14 tries. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taking advantage of a really tired defense. And that one's good, Irving. Uh, okay, you got a nice little back and forth going here. Yeah, and I like it. I love seeing that. It's a lot of fun when that happens. These teams are going at each other from the outside. I mean, what can we say about Steph's jumper that hadn't already been said? Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Launches the three, and a great assist by Adebakumbo as that one goes in. 26 points for Steph Curry. And the West All-Stars have possession. Ten-point lead. James kept alive. Floats it up for James. He's off on that one. A highlight reel play all the way. Just can't connect. I thought the pass looked good and just came up a skosh short. But I like the initiative and the intention. Harden, no good. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. You're exactly right. Patrolling the perimeter well. And didn't allow the shooter to get off a clean look. That's what you would call A-plus defense. That shot, no good. And if you want to drive your coach crazy, this is a good place to start. Really? Exactly. I mean, in what world is that a good shot? You tell me. I mean, he's got to feel bad and embarrassed about that one. No reason to take that shot. James fires from way outside. They can't stop the run with that one. Hansa Takumbo dishes to Curry. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Now just a four-point West All-Star lead. Timeout called here. The West All-Stars decide to talk it over. They lead by four. A minute 20 left to play here in the fourth. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the West. A minute 20 left in the fourth. And here's Harden for three. And so far this quarter, he's been a little off on his game. Just a touch. I mean, it seems like he's forcing shots a little bit to me, Greg. Not playing his game right now. And with every miss, the 
pressure intensifies. Hey, when you've got a player like George, in these moments, you turn to him. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Walker. There's Embiid. It's in! A huge shot to tie it up. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Outside Leonard. Back to LeBron. A reverse. Good! Boy, they're having time major time trouble dealing with LeBron. Timeout called East All-Stars. They trail by two. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And usually you want to go for the two-for-one here to maximize the clock. Curry on the wing. This one for three. Encouraging whenever Harden blocks a shot. When he defends with tenacity and intensity, he's capable of this. And so here are the West Alston. Releases. It's all about it's a Kumbo. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Curry. 15 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Bucket six. From deep three-point range, Kevin Durant with the rebound. And on the way from Irving for three. Oh, the all-or-nothing shot. No good. So it's the East All-Stars taking the W in a close one. And guys, while the result and the bragging rights go to the East, this was truly a night that belonged to the fans. I mean, it was another great showcase of the world-class talent across the NBA. It seems to get better and better every year, doesn't it, Greg? Huh? So fun to watch. It was certainly a fun evening. We thank all of you for joining us and watching with us. For Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time.